Okay, 11 o'clock. So we've got two hours left, essentially. Save real quick. If you want to. Oh man. Excellent, Tom. Excuse me. Would someone care to tell me exactly what's going on here? Don't come any closer. That man needs a doctor. No, he doesn't. I don't need a doctor. I'm fine. Go away. What is this? A test. Of what? What does it look like? It's a threshold test. A pain threshold test. I thought uh, you were supposed to be good at working things out, Inspector Jenks. And so this would be for Atlas, would it? Kyle. You disappear now. It's not a good idea to talk to a police inspector like that. Do it to make you. It's okay, Tom. Mr. Jenks won't be bothering us anymore. Don't make any rash commitments. Found something. Key fob. Well, well. You really should take more care of your things, Ryan. Is your keys, Kyle? No. Give him the keys, but we still got the fob. Let's go to their house. So that's and threshold it. testing, is it? Sticking a skewer through your hand? I could just ask Ryan or Paul directly about this, but I think I'll bide my time. See what I can do with this key fob first. Nice car, Audi. Ooh, I locked a car. Look at me, I'm doing all kinds of legal stuff, investigating people's cars. Also looks weird the glove box on the other side, right? Bingo. Well, Ryan, what have you been up to? It's very interesting to see how he explains this one. Been at James's house in a while. Let's check that out. All kinds of mysterious stuff going on. Let's go into that greenhouse, see if we can find anything. Big greenhouse. Search. Clarks. So James is interested in poppy pods, is he? I think he's got some explaining to do. Okay. Talk to our buddy Simon again. It's getting darker out. It's 11 o'clock and it's not pitch black yet. Ask about a few more things, please. 
about these poppy pods? Odd question, but have you ever seen anyone handling dried poppy pods? Poppy pods? As in, for opium? No. Though, James did have opium tea once, I think. Where did he get it from? Oh, I don't know. I didn't ask. James does his own thing. What does opium tea taste like? I don't know. I didn't try it. Really? I didn't want to risk it, did I? But I went to hospital once. Uh, I, I had codeine and I went into anaphylactic shock. The doctor said it was um, an opium derivative, apparently, so... Okay, so... Let us see. You're allergic to opiates. But... He and Cake took morphine in the mirror room. Liar, <laughs> liar, pants on fire. You and Kate took morphine in the mirror room. That's what you said, isn't it? Yeah. But you're allergic to opiates, Simon. Opium. You didn't take the morphine at all, did you? Well, no. No, I didn't. Kate did, though. I thought you were trying to outdo each other. That was the point, wasn't it? We weren't trying to outdo each other as such. Go on. <sighs> Ryan wanted me to test Kate. To see how far she would go to be prime candidate. What candidate? Prime, prime candidate. candidate. It, it means the best person in the group, basically. What do you mean, test her? But you do it in pairs. One person's the tester, it's me. And the other person's the... Victim? Well, it's not like that. It's completely consensual. It's just it's like boundary testing. Words, right? Ryan wanted me to test Kate. Because they thought she was the best student. Well, maybe. I... I don't know. I just did what I was told, okay? Except you decided to give her morphine. To break the law. Well, I can't change that now, can I? She didn't die of a morphine overdose, did she? She died because she drowned. But she drowned for reasons that aren't clear. Atlas seemed to have this all neatly worked out. If Simon's telling the truth, Atlas are lighting the fuse and then retiring to a safe distance, letting students test themselves and push themselves to their limits while avoiding all comeback. Is this what happened to Kate? Uh, Be back later Ryan. on, if that's okay. Again. A lot of back and forth with him. Bring in the new information. Couple more questions, if that's okay. Prime candidate. Now, tell me what a prime candidate is. You're learning a lot, aren't you, Inspector? <laughs> prime candidates are simply the best students. The ones with the most potential. And what benefits do they get from that? Well, they get the top job. Which is? Well, we have a deal with various multinationals. We train students to be exceptional. Truly exceptional. And they get a wonderful top job. It seems a very simple deal. And how do you decide who the prime candidate is? Do you test students? No. Did you ever, say, ask Simon to test Kate, for instance? Oh, you've actually been speaking to Simon, haven't you? I really wouldn't trust anything that Simon Thompson says. You know, he spent the best part of two months trying to undermine Kate. No, 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 no. Now, Simon Thompson, it really isn't my place to speculate, but uh, if you're looking for motives, Inspector, uh, he certainly had a few motives. I, uh, more than I. A motive to kill her, do you mean? Yeah, what yeah, does he mean? That's very exactly. interesting, Inspector. Well, that's up to you to decide her. Okay. Let's ask about this check. 500 pound check. Would you like to explain what this is, please, Ryan? 500 pounds intended for Kate. It fell out of your car. At least I assume that's your car on the driveway at Brandon House. I suppose so. So why were you going to give Kate 500 pounds, Ryan? It was just a little incentive, that's all. Or... Just a little incentive. Not very little, Ryan. Five hundred pounds. She was, uh, 
A very good student. We we heard that she was leaving. We wanted to give her something. But you didn't. Well, obviously not. Are you sure there wasn't any other reason you might want to give her this personal reason? Money? No. Well, I'd like to keep hold of this for a little while, if you don't mind. Well, don't consider it a bribe, will you, Inspector? Okay. Well, incentive. Money man's a little incentive for Kate, but it's aren't bribed or reversed in any way, as we said. Yeah, right. But she had money coming, uh -huh. so someone's full so, of it. Students aren't coerced or bribed in any way. Except Kate. I'm not sure what you mean. You said you were going to give Kate the five hundred pounds as an incentive. That's coercion, isn't it? I really don't think you could call it coercion, Inspector. It was an incentive. That's all. A little encouragement. So, how often do you use incentives? Okay, incentive is probably the wrong word. The money was just to see how Kate would respond. It was part of her assessment. Assessment. We have to assess students as they progress. We d we don't use conventional methods like sitting an exam or anything like that. Uh, people pay for this course per session. We have to know if they're committed or not. So you're assessing their progress and testing their commitment. Yes, we are. We have to. This is a business, not a charity. So Ryan's claiming the money was part of Kate's assessment. And did this assessment also involve threshold testing, I wonder? Or was the money for something else? The students are not tested, but gave Kate money to test her. That's odd. Aha. Uh -huh. Well, which one is it, Ryan? Do you test students or not? Well, some of them, yes. Including Kate? Yes. Why was she being tested? She was being tested because... Because we wanted to see if she was good enough to become prime candidate, okay? So Kate was in the running to be prime candidate. Yes. And did you ask Simon to test her? Yes, I did. But I didn't ask him to do anything stupid. He knew it was against course rules. How far did you ask him to push her? I didn't ask him to push her. I asked him to test her. There's a huge difference. If Simon decided to give her too much caffeine or morphine or whatever, that's his responsibility. So if he did anything wrong, it was his own responsibility. He did it with his own mind and his own hand. We had nothing to do with it. Not looking good for them. Midnight. And still no suspect, unless you count everyone I've interviewed. It's no surprise that Ryan wants to avoid any suggestion of being responsible for Kate's death. But I wonder if the man protests just a little too much. Right. 